Hey everyone and welcome back to Kiana Luchar. I hope all of you are doing well and I hope all of you are ready to do a little tour of the Royal Palace with me and there is something that has changed quite significantly. I mean if we walk forward a little bit. Anyone who has watched Kiana Luchar meticulously the last few weeks can already probably see that there's something that has changed in the skyline of the Royal Palace. Also, yes, I wanted to do a tour of Khan al Bashar in the rain because I just wanted to show it in a different light than in that always sunny state because, I mean, there's still some little blobs of clear sky, but uh, yeah, I just like to show it in a different perspective or just a different weather. And we are starting, well, of course, it's a Poison Blade tour, which so we just went through it three, but there is the Mirage Mountains in the background, Rapunzel's Tower, and yeah, I just wanted to do a little bit of a tour, talk about a few things, and well, we are starting in the Royal Vineyard, we're going in a clockwise motion, so we will go to Gaines Manor, Rapunzel's Tower, Jaguar Habitat, and so on, and then eventually we will end the tour in... Well, basically at the Barrel Maker, because we will do a weird little movement when it comes to the Royal Theatre. But first off, let's go to a little bit of a happier place, or at least a place where we can get somewhat dry. I don't think you can actually... Yeah, wait. Yeah, underneath the tree you also are dry. A little bit, but... Anyway, so I want to quickly also mention that... There's probably not going to be a video Wednesday because I have been playing Planet Zoo non-stop for the last few weeks. So I thought it would be a little bit of a good thing to take a short break. So Wednesday there won't be a video but I hope this makes up for it. But yeah, it's basically... Otherwise I will just get too stressed with making Planet Zoo videos because that's something I've been seeing lately that... Whenever I'm not playing Planet Zoo, that I just get way too stressed, so that's never a good thing, so this is just a general tip from me, but whenever you get stressed about not doing something, even though you've been doing it non-stop, probably better to take a little bit of a break. So the vineyard is actually looking quite a little, little bit better, I would say, in the rain. Maybe because it blends out that yellowish tinge, so now it all looks very clean, I would say. Also with this, re not reshade, but the filter that my graphics card can put on the game, it looks so much more detailed. Like that stone looks really like, I don't know, like it really has that texture. But anyway, that's not what I should be talking about. I'm just going to walk around and talk about some other stuff. So I'm not going to be specifically talking about, well, Kian al is obviously going to be a big part, but also things about the channel. Because I actually made a mistake, and you can see that here, but in this save file, which is the save file that I've been building in, there isn't the actual bridge that I built for the vineyard. So I have to rebuild the bridge, but this is onto a point that I wanted to talk about. Building bridges and such isn't that much of a... Well, interesting video, even though I need to build a lot of them. You will see that as we're walking through everything, but... Yeah, I have basically been looking into or have been interested in streaming. So that if I have to do like a little thing like a bridge or building some houses. Because, let's face it, any video that doesn't have a actual habitat in it doesn't really do that well. So for those little things, I have been actually thinking about streaming those things. Just because when you're streaming, you don't get a lot done, but you can do like the smaller things. So yeah, I have been looking into actually streaming while building those smaller things. I mean, we have, well, this isn't really a bridge, still doesn't lead to anywhere, but this is where the city is going to go. But then you have a bridge like here, you have smaller things another bridge there but yeah basically I've been looking into streaming the smaller things I uh, am however facing I think my biggest fear with streaming then though 
because this is something that I should probably get over, but whenever I think of streaming, I just, I don't know, i am just become deadly afraid of starting a stream and nobody is there, which shouldn't be that much of an issue because it's basically a given when you start out streaming that it's going to be a little bit of a uh, smaller audience, I would say. But yeah, that's basically just my biggest fear of starting up a stream and then nobody's there. Can we kick this ball? No. Also, the tortoises are almost in the same position as when I finished the builds. Is this Gain? No, this is Dolores. Wait, Gain lives together with like Dolores Umbridge. Gain, what have you been doing? I think that Gain won't get that unless he has watched Harry Potter, but here is Gain. Yeah, Gain, you are a toy. Now to remove that white barrier from you. But yeah, that's basically my biggest fear. So I'm actually going to ask you guys one or when is the time that you would love to see a stream because right now I'm thinking about streaming if I will stream on the same time that I usually upload my videos so that's for me 8 p.m. I have no idea how late it is for you guys but for me that's usually around 8 p.m. 9 p.m. something like that so are you guys interested in that even though it's like building the smaller things I'm not going to build an entire habitat on a stream because Let's face it, we won't get much done on a stream, but it might be a fun thing just so that you guys can also see the smaller things being built and to basically see the craziness and fell up about my scrollness when it comes to bridges. But yeah, so we have passed right behind or we are now right behind Gaines Manor. We have passed the vineyard. Actually, I need to go a little bit back because, oh no, I didn't build it yet. Yeah, or I built it, but I didn't save it. Yeah, there's been an issue with saving. <laughs> I forget to save sometimes. So the bridge is gone, and something I also built is gone, but we're going to move on because let's not go crazy with the mistake. So another little vineyard, which isn't part of the royal vineyard. Also, another question besides the streaming thing. Is that vineyard actually a large vineyard or is it a small one? I don't know what's like the size requirement to say something is a large vineyard. I keep going back to the vineyard, but is this a large vineyard or a small one? Anyone who knows a little bit more about vineyards, please tell me. Also, lions have been kind of gone. Maybe because they're hiding somewhere because it of course rains, but uh, Hey, he's bringing food and... Alright. That... You are weird. Let's move on. But anyway, so... So far I've talked about possible streaming. Also about the... Well, not a video on Wednesday. But now I should probably talk because we are getting closer to it. About something that has changed significantly. Also quickly, Mashav Castle. I literally just made this place to just look on Mashav Castle and then you also have like the Mirage Mountains in the background, Rapunzel's Tower right there and again anyone who has meticulously watched the last few episodes of Kean al Bashar or basically any episode with the Royal Palace will already see what is missing because a habitat is missing. But uh, yeah, we're going to go to there right now. So here we have... You guys also heard one of those monkeys scream, right? Oh yeah, I made the Rapunzel's braids out of lights. I forgot that. I thought they were just beads, but they are lights. I think, because they're now lighting up at least. But yeah, Rapunzel's tower in the rain or basically in the cloud. Quite nice. I also don't know... I. I think the waterfalls actually look a lot more, well, wild in the rain. I mean, I can quickly look it up if... Mm. Nah, they are just as wild, so... Oh wait, I need to close it, otherwise you're going to hit the buttons. 
speed it up again. Now we're back in the rain. Now back in the misery. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Rapunzel's habitat is there. Another thing that has changed because I have ripped out the God's Lake. Auto save, of course. And there used to be like a pod going into the palace from here, but yeah, with the removal of the God's Lake, because it's gone. <laughs> I was able to actually blueprint it though, so it's gone, but I want to replace this place with something more fitting with the palace, because that's the thing going on with like Rapunzel's tower a little bit less, but with the God's Lake especially, it didn't fit in with the palace anymore. Like the rest of the palace was really structured, or at least somewhat structured, and then the God's Lake was just complete wilderness. Or just complete wild. So, yeah, I ripped out the God's Lake just so that I can replace it with something more fitting to the palace. Also, one of the jaguars is running. Yeah, from here he looks like a black jaguar, but I don't have black jaguar. Also, just going into the scrapyard from Slok Sioux, there's Keanu Albichar's scrapyard. It's always a little bit off screen. Also, I actually redid most of like the underground or, well, it's the base floor of Canal Bichat. Still need to terrain pay. But basically I wanted to go for a kind of like a ripped up desert. So there's mountains, it looks like literally some chunks of the ground started floating and then formed the palace. But yeah, that's basically the idea. And I think I either want some large savanna animals like maybe a elephant giraffe or maybe just some zebras here just because i want to have a different kind of structure than the gods so the gods lake is going to return it's just going to return in a different fashion probably in the mystery well is it still a mystery but i haven't actually talked about like the mystery phase what is going to be the next one but after we finish the palace then we will go into the mystery and then the last one is going to be what was the traders but uh, yeah god's lake is gone but it will be replaced and i might actually do that before the snow white habitat and yes the last time that we were in canal bashar i gave you guys the guess on what the next habitat is going to be and i gave the clue of seven and yes the clue basically alluded to snow white which was actually for a very difficult habitat to actually figure out because snow white is i think well it's just so german when it comes to like how everything looks that it was very difficult to actually make it arabian or islamic when it comes to arctic so that was interesting to figure out how to do that because like Rapunzel, that's basically just a tower that I had to build. Snow White, well, the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. Yeah, that was a bit difficult to figure out how to make that Arabian. Because that cottage is very definitely like German timber framing and such. And to actually try and rebuild it in an Arabian fashion. Yeah, it's going to be a trick. But I'm either thinking of doing the revamped area that was formerly the God's Lake first or Snow White's Goddess. So you guys can decide which one you want to see first, but now we're going to move up. So the Jaguar habitat is completely intact. I did not rip out anything. Well, there's another point why I removed the... well, fuck. Sorry for that, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, rocks don't have co coalition when you are in Tejit Game, so I I think I'm, well, now I'm in rocks, but yeah, sometimes it's just like, oh, I can stand on this. No, I can't. But yeah, that's another thing why the God's Lake was removed. It was basically connected to the Jaguar habitat because there was so little space here. So that's why I also removed it, just because, well, it was touchy. And I'm not allowing my habitats to touch, especially when it's jaguars in one and then western chimpanzees in the other. I don't think we would have wanted to find out 
how it goes when those two have that are actually connected. But yeah, going further into the jaguar habitat, or at least to the outside, because this is still the entrance to the palace from the Mirage Mountains, which looks in a way very eerie, but also very in, well, not inviting, not inviting at all. It lo just looks like, for some reason, like this is, I think if I'm correct, the mayorish manor, I would say from Karshenik, which is the mountain village, but it looks like the place you get murdered. I don't know why, but just, yeah, because of how it looks with like all the pine trees next to it and then the dark clouds which still have like just blobs of blue clear sky and there we have the sun getting that nicer ring. <laughs> But yeah, it basically looks like the Mirage Mountains is the place where you die. Which is actually very fitting for the Mirage Mountain. We're not going to go into the Mirage Mountains because I don't want to get this tour over 30 minutes like I usually do. But going a little bit further again. So we have more of those floating gazebos. And this is the place where Snow White Cottage is going to be. So I have already laid it out a little bit on where it's going to be also just i love the weather in planets too like just look at this it literally looks like there's puddles of water and then you have like dry spots or at least dry spots to basically where the water doesn't collect and then we have the sultan's forest that we can look into probably all the animals are hiding so yeah <laughs> i think this further solidifies that i don't care too much about the so i just like how everything and I love how you just, from everywhere in the palace you see Rapunzel's tower. And yeah, I really just like, that's something I'm going to say a lot. But yeah, the Sultan's Forest with the crashed floating island into it, which leads into this waterfall. Yeah. But anyway, so moving on, I think the most active ones right now are literally the Keepers, which Given the history of Planet Zoo, it's quite a feat. Because I still remember when the Keepers didn't do anything. <laughs> but going into the actual habitat, we should find some of the Jaguars here. Also, nice little... Oh yeah, some things don't have coalition. So, the... How do you call it? Th these are the roof pieces, I think, if I'm correct, that are underneath it. But then when you go into the pool, it's just like... Well, you can't actually sometimes even get into it because these pieces don't have coalition for a tangent gap. But yeah, looking for some jaguars. I know that the camera is probably a bit... Well, that was... Uh, we have to walk along the edge of this to get up, up there. Let's uh, be a little bit friendly. <laughs> so, confetti. They're all here, I think. Alright, you were really happy to get out of that box, weren't you? Aww. I don't know what you were doing there, but you went up and then went down immediately. But uh, yeah, so moving on from the Jaguar short, let's just follow her. Yeah, it was her. I have very bad memory sometimes, now that, now that I think about it. But then I've also said that I literally have the memory of the fish. Or a goldfish, actually. So, going through the actual jaguar habitat. Camera goes a little bit too far. But then, the other way was to do this. Which is too slow for me. Oh, I... Uh, let's uh, forget that some of the wall stones are floating. And that there's... No, that was actually meant to be there. I want to basically dig this out to give a little bit more space to the jaguars. Yeah, let's go with that um, excuse. Ah, here is the other one. Ah, I do like the jaguars though. I... Mm. There were things that were changed. Mm, probably when I ripped out the cults like that. I... With a little bit of a uh, thing, just sort of crashed the jaguar habitat as well. 
But yeah, going into the actual palace through the gate, which is basically just a gate. There should be doors in there, but I have been a little bit too lazy to actually build those. So yeah, that's another thing that I could do in like a stream. Just do like the small tiny things that don't take that much time, but should be done. Going over a floating carpet bridge, hearing what's basically have been my agony for the last well, month almost. These should be moved to the scrapyard. Yeah, sometimes I still find pieces that should be moved to the scrapyard. Why are you here? Are you able to get out of here? Yeah, you are. You're just lazy. That's not a message that I want to see. We're going to... Well, I'm not going to save, so that's not a message I'm going to see anymore. But... Why can't I... Oh, yeah. These things don't have coalition. Hang on for a second. But yeah. I did think of, like, having a massive floating gazebo here, but then the shadow would basically envelop the entire garden, so I'm kind of moved on from that. These things do have coalition. Which is strange. Well, not strange, because there's actually, like some plaster pieces underneath it because of course the well carpets don't have coalition for the animal so they wouldn't be able to traverse them with it's a little bit weird though that there's like puddles on the actual carpet but i mean it has been raining for now close to 20 minutes so well yeah sometimes the weather is beautiful but sometimes it doesn't make that much sense and these guys have been screaming for at least a month now. Yeah, there's a reason why I usually build in boss mode. Not only do I get a lot more frames, but also these guys don't scream at me anymore. Uh, that's... Uh... Whoa. Oh yeah, again, these styles don't have correlation. So whenever I do a tour like this, we will fall through the ground. Hey, can you... Can you please stop screaming? Yeah. I think I just encouraged them. Oh yeah, but the monkeys do love their climbing structures, even though they're not really built to be climbing. They are just built to be decoration. I hope we will be able to get out of this habitat. Probably not. No, we are crashing through a wall. Come on, let's try and get out of here. Yes. Yeah, Tadget Cam is a little bit of a annoying thing in Kern al especially in the Palace Guard. But now we can take shelter underneath this, uh, well, just gallery. Doesn't really make much, well, it makes sense because it's a garden, but beyond that it's just there. But yeah, then we have the Lion's Court, or the entrance, or the front entrance of the palace. Yeah, I really gave you a short really short time to actually get dry underneath that well gallery with the golden llamas which is going to be an animal featured in the mystery phase so yeah that's going to also be coming but probably in like a month or two because Ken Albuchar is going to take quite some time to actually finish it's well I always say it's the mega project of the channel so it's probably going to take a year or so, and we're now like halfway there, maybe like one third of the way there. Yeah, let's uh, all pray for my PC. I think I'm already, well, I'm planning to get a new processor or CPU just because I want to continue Kernal Bashar. And I now get still steady 30 frames with Kernal Bashar, but yeah. Let's just say whenever we move into the actual city, that's not going to be a thing for much longer. But then that's also why I planned the city to be the last in the phases of Kian al -Bashar, Just because I know that it's going to screw up the frames so much. And also another reason why I want to actually stream the city most. Because again, when there's not a real animal involved in the actual build, then usually the video it doesn't do as well which might tap into the fear of not well how do i say it well with the streamsers the fear of no one being there 
with the videos there's always the fear of it not being either good enough to guarantee well guaranteed to make it well fun to watch and then there's also the fear that it's just not going well because that's just a very youtuber like fear that a video won't do well i'm not too worried about the numbers but yeah also, one of these is supposed to be... No, there's something going on with the boundary. Also, where the, where the fuck did you come from? Yeah, the Jaguars are very straight. Also, Nico, you are an actual Bengal type. I should probably put you guys on... Wait, I'm not going to save this, so... Yeah. Let's move on, so... The Roman theater, because this is a theater. You're built also a Roman theater, which. Oh, uh, yeah, again, some things don't have coalition for Tangent Cam, so it's going to be annoying to actually walk around sometimes. Uh, that's just a thing with Kiara all the chat. Tangent Cam is not the best, because it only grabs onto things that have actual coalition. I mean,. Most things have coalition for the animals, but not for the actual camera. So right now, yeah, there's a little bit of a platform here. That's why there's grass here, because I forgot to remove the grass. Like there's all these tiny things that I still should do, but I don't really have that much time for. Which again is also a reason why I'm not going to upload anything coming Wednesday, just to like build these small little things out but also to just get a little bit of a rest because I think for the last two months I've been somewhat like semi how do you call it um, forgot the word for it again but uh, yeah I've been uploading semi regular so just going to take some days to basically just rest uh, yeah, the Bengal Tigers have completely taken over the Roman theater. Also, for some reason, I don't see any rain. We're not underneath anything, but... Well, maybe... If this is a thing... If, like, you stand underneath a building at, like, a certain angle and then the water doesn't do because rain does come down at a certain angle, that would be amaz an amazing thing that they have also did that with the weather in plants because yeah here we do have rain and here we don't rain no rain so yeah it does actually come in at a certain angle that's amazing i ne never really found out that that works or that's how it works still all the stones here are completely shy which, as a scroll, I really like that the stones are shiny. I think squirrels aren't attracted to shiny things, but then I certainly am a little bit. Because, I mean, I think if we go into here, we have, like, shiny gold tiles. Which I like mostly because they're shiny. But uh, yeah, we should move on because we are nearly done with the tour of Keanu al Bishara or basically the Royal Palace. It was a, these things are like a little fun thing that also can be done on stream. There's a lot of things that I could be doing on streams now that I think about it. And yeah, I re like not so much at sunlight, but in the rain, this entrance really looks amazing. I'm, all, of course, saying that about my own build, so... Probably not the most unbiased opinion, but... In the rain, just... Kian al Bishar just looks so much... Cleaner, I would say. Like, when it's sunny, it looks very dusty. Let's actually see that in the sun, so... Quickly moving on. Now, It actually looks still pretty nice without the... But... Still, it looks a lot better with the shininess, I <laughs> would uh, Why am I so attracted to shiny thing? Let's move on, because I want to have the rain back. So. No, wrong button thing. 
Oh, the amount of times that I messed it up. Also, Ken Albisha is again at the 1pm point, which is my favorite time of the day. Mostly because like the shadows are just perfect at 1pm. At like 12, they are not really interesting. At 2pm, then it... Well, the shadows are good, but not perfect. On most of Canon Bichara. On some points at 2 pm it's the best time, but at most points 1 pm is the best time. Maybe because then also the shadows are the smallest, I think. Let's figure that out. Yeah, the shadows are actually the smallest. No, yeah. Because this was like. No, let's move on. The shadows are just. I like it more at 1 pm. Why has the rain stopped? Meh. Yeah. Rain, let it rain. Which is kind of weird because I dislike the rain the most. But in Plan Zoo it just looks so amazing that I'm like, nah, I like it. But in real life, rain is just my mortal enemy. Also there's like some field picnic places for the nobles of Canal Bashar. Just so that, well, the, these palace gardens are basically Auto save again, but basically are just the gathering point for all the noble. So it's just fun to build like tiny little references to the nobles just doing literally nothing here. Just wandering about, like maybe hoping to get like close to the Sultan or the Sultana, which is the basically the equivalent of the Queen, but then also is I think a Dutch brand of cookies, so, well no, something like crackers or something like that. So yeah, saying Sultana just makes me think of food. But anyway, moving on to the last point of today's tour. So I'm going to recap things when we get there. So the barrel maker, with the small picnic ground for the barrel maker and probably his wife or like his, I don't know, teenage son who snuck off with his girlfriend. I placed a floating or flying boat or ship here just because I thought it would be a nice addition here. I mean the vineyard also has a ship but that's being loaded full with Kayan Albichar's special wine. Or like the royal wine. Now let's look if we find some artworks. Again, it's a little bit of a weird thing because it's so close to Dutch, but it's not. Because in Dutch, Aardvark is Aardvark. So yeah, I'm giving you a little bit of a... Well, a little bit of information on Dutch. So, these little guys in Dutch are called Aardvarkens. Or Aardvark. Oh, he's sniffing the ground. He's not running away from her. Or should she... Yeah, I don't know for sure. You didn't deliver any food, you useless keeper. Also, why is that... That ball... Used to be, I think, somewhere over... Here. Like, a, yeah, it should be over here. Those artifacts really did a number on that ball. But yeah, to basically recoup or... Say everything again, just in small. I am thinking of streaming like the smaller things, again the missing gods lake or the hands of god lake. So yeah, the western chimpanzees and the pygmy hippos have all been traded out of the zoo. Because I don't like it when the tab with all the like bald animals or the animals in storage is full. That's something that I just don't like, even though it has zero impact on the actual zoo, I don't like it when the tab is but yeah, I have been looking into streaming to like build these smaller things that I usually do off screen, such as the bridges, like if I build, like when we get to, let's say the traders district or the city as I've now called it, like building houses, that would be a fun thing to do on stream because then I build like one house on the stream. But then the greatest fear is that I start a stream, basically play for an hour and there's no one there. Like I don't know if, well, it is a worry to have. But yeah. 
basically I'm asking you guys, are you guys interested in possible streams? And if you want to see a stream, what time of day would be perfect for you? Because I've been thinking about like 8 p.m. or at least what's 8 p.m. for me, which is the time that I usually upload a video. But uh, yeah, are you guys interested in streaming when it comes to like building these small things? Because I'm not going to build an entire habitat on stream because that takes like six to yeah, around six hours. I wanted to say 8, but then 8 is like if I also include the time to, that I spent looking up architectural references. But yeah, do, so are you guys interested in possible streams? And also, just a quick asked question. Is this a small vineyard or a large vineyard? I don't know for sure. Because it could be large when it comes to like Canal Machara standards, but could be small when you think of real world, so real world vineyards. I become less and less able to pronounce words whenever the video goes on for a longer period of time, it seems. So that's two questions. Then the third question is, do you guys want to see Snow White's habitat first? Or do you guys want to see the revamped area of the God's Lake first? So basically I have three questions for you guys. And then the announcement that there's not going to be a video on Wednesday. Just because I want to take a little bit of a break. Just to basically regather creativity and also because I would go insane. Because I've been playing Plant Zoo non-stop for the past two months I would say. In yeah, when you've been playing for two months, it sort of takes over your life and I immediately knew like, all right, I need to take a quick break now. Otherwise, I'm going to go insane. Which isn't usually a big issue because I think I'm already a little bit insane, but yeah, it won't really help when I'm like stressed out if I'm not playing Planet Zoo. But anyway, so again, quick recoup of all the questions. Are you guys interested in streaming and if you are what time of day would be the best for you guys am i well yeah that fear of just completely being alone while streaming is still a thing that i need to overcome when it comes to streaming then second question is large vineyard or small vineyard so that's basically just the odd question and then the third question is do you guys want to see Snow White's lake first or, well, Snow White's habitat first? Or do you want to see the revamp of the God's lake first? Which isn't going to be a lake. It's probably going to follow a little bit in like how the rest of the, well, it's not the royal gardens anymore. It's just the, well, lands of the like nobility and the rich of Khan al -Bashad. Not going to be a vineyard though. That I can already say for sure probably have like some elephants or some giraffes there but yeah that's basically it so streams large vineyard or small vineyard and god's lake or snow white septum but that's basically going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed my little ramble on the royal palace of kian al -Bashar. hope you liked the tour of the royal palace even though it was a little bit messy i'm going to return to the vineyard actually because I think that's the prettiest place when it comes to it in the rain. Or when it comes to Kian al in the rain. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Or if you just want to hit buttons, because as a scroll, I can say for 100% sure that clicking random buttons is fun. And then I wish you all an amazing day. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and again, hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.